At the vehicle park in RAF Akrotiri, 102 Squadron are going through their final tests before deployment. In just a few weeks' time, dogs like Wilson will be searching vehicles in Afghanistan. But for now, they're putting their skills into practice in Cyprus as part of their pre-deployment training. The main thing was acclimatisation. It's a lot hotter here than it is in our base in Senelag in Germany. So the dogs have been getting used to working for longer periods of time in warmer conditions. That means putting the guys on the gate from you know, 6 o'clock in the morning right the way through the day. Um, they've been assessed the whole time by the trainers and then we, we've picking up their weaknesses, some of the points they need to work on and making sure they train on those areas before we deploy. In theatre, one of their roles will be securing the main entry point at Camp Bastion. 200 vehicles pass through the gates every day and it's up to the vehicle search dogs to check every part of the convoy. Private Ellen May's dog Buster will soon be doing just that. But for now, they're fine-tuning their training so the assessors here can check how well they're working as a team. We've been putting them through the tests here. We've been making sure they can find a massive varied of explosives and weapons. They started off uh, nice and steady just so we could see the standard that they were at. Um, we've put them through their paces a little bit and then we're now going through the assessment phases to make sure that everything we've put them through, they've taken in, taken on board and put into practice. They're familiarising themselves with what's in store, not just on the ground, but in the air too. Even if these handlers don't deploy forward, they need to know what to expect and how their dogs will react if they have to move by helicopter. At the landing site, they're each getting a short flight to find out. Handlers and dogs are paired up according to their personalities and strengths. It's a bond that extends way beyond the tour, so being here is a great way to see them working together. This is uh, mine and Jack's first couple of weeks together, so we've been learning about each other, get, uh, getting a bond together, learning how he searches, learning his indications and everything about him, so yeah, it's been good. This is Billy, he's working extremely well. Um, I've imprinted a lot of sense into him, so he has worked extremely hard. Also, because we've had the facilities in Cyprus to do this, and the time, and especially the people we're working with, has helped us out a lot as well. It's just got such a high drive. He'll he'll run about the place until yeah, <laughs> until he falls over. Can't speak for him, but uh, I'm pretty excited for to get a chance to go to Afghanistan. And uh, all our training is going well, so we should be ready by the time we deploy. The training isn't just focused on sniffing out fines. At the dog section in Episcopi, a run on the agility course is a great way to test out obedience and to have a little competition. Whether it's searching vehicles or jumping around the field, for the dogs it's all in a day's work and it's a job they love. They have a busy tour ahead of them, but an important role to play keeping everyone safe as the operation in Afghanistan comes to an end. Carla Prata forces news in Episcopi. Uh, uh, yes, you just have to come back down this way.